Hello there, everyone. Uh, this is something I never thought I'd actually be doing, but considering all that's happening with Hasbro and Star Wars right now, I figured now's a good time to get this off my chest. Let me start by saying I've been collecting Star Wars figures since 2000, well, since last year, actually. I st I've been wanting to do this since, well, they started making these new movies again, but I didn't have job or money to do so but as of last year i <clears throat> i got money and i got a job which uh just doing me well and i started oh, I, see I, get some. I started collecting the last jedi figures yeah see i love this stuff despite what people think about the movie i really enjoy enjoy collecting these figures do i have any more of them no i don't <sighs> I love collecting Star Wars action figures. Like I collect the Kenner figures, I collect the modern ones. I love the stuff. Yeah, let's see. I've collected Rebels toys, maybe some troop transport here. I can see that. I love collecting the Rogue One figures. There's a Kenner transport with Rogue One Stormtroopers. I love this stuff. So, but uh, I think Hasbro has made some questionable decisions regarding these figures. <clears throat> oh, look, 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 how should I start this? Uh, this is, I'm doing this unscripted, so uh, forgive me if I stutter a bit trying to discuss this. <sighs> Where to begin? So when the Solo figures were coming out, I was really excited for them. No, I was very excited to get some of the new characters. You know, let's let's go with some of the new characters. The Mimbon Stormtrooper. This is a figure I was really excited for. Yeah. Yeah, but he's hard to find, unfortunately. But I've somehow managed to grab a few of him. Let's, let me close these blinds. There's a little too much light. Oh, you can still see me. Good. Good. What other new figures do we got? Uh, we got uh, the Imperial Range Trooper, a new figure we haven't seen before. We got have one. We got Kiva from Corellia. No, nope, not a good figure, not a bad figure, but it's a new character, so you got him. Let's get the, we got the Chewbacca from Solo. If you have a Chewbacca, you know, it's cool to have. You know. But then there's some questionable characters that were in Wave 1. This is the Rogue One K2SO. But what I find baffling was they re-released him as part of the Solo line of figures. Now, yeah, it's cool that with the Force Link they can talk, but you know, if you already have the figure, why buy another one just to have it talk? You know, it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> I also find it questionable the only way to get Lando a major character in the film is to buy it with a two-pack with the Castle Guard. Don't get me wrong, these are great figures. I really like them. But I just find it weird you can only get a main character in a two-pack. Maybe Hasbro didn't think this guy would sell. I don't know. Comes with, with this cannon. That's cool, but, you know. Let's go for the Force Link, too, while I'm at it. Here's the Force Link. Well, it's the box. I have it somewhere, but I'm not going to pull it out right now. I don't want that thing turning on right now. Yeah, this Force Link, you know, it's cool and all. It's cool to have the figures talk and everything. And I have a Han figure right here. The only reason I bought this thing was to get the Han figure. Because, you know, the only other ways you can get him at the mo when uh, this was coming out was... And the only way to get him was with the $100 Millennium Falcon, which in my opinion is not worth it. From the things I've seen, it's too small. And with Han's speeder, $30, but eh, no. I just want the regular old Han, you know? Yeah, that looks just like the actor. And what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the Force Link. Oh, I'm gonna bring that out right now. Where did I put it? Somewhere. 
like, oh, here it is. Yeah, this is the fourth slide. Yeah, cool little piece of technology. It's cool that it can make your figures talk. But this thing, this thing's not perfect. Let's be honest. You use one of these things, you know what I'm saying. Let's test one out. Let's just one out. Uh, let's go with Han. They call me Han Solo. This better be worth it. Okay, stay sharp. Woohoo! I don't run from a fight. Huh. I've got a really good feeling about this. This better be worth it. See? Nice little thing. You know, makes figures go up. But this thing's not perfect. You know, I wish it... Because <clears throat> sometimes when I use this thing for the figures, you know, I can keep tapping the figure all I want. Sometimes it just shuts off on its own. You know? I mean, just turned on something, I don't know. Yeah, it just, just stops when it, you know, we, I really wish she could, uh, uh, forgive me, I'm, I'm doing this unscripted, so. I really wish that, uh, I really wish that you could, you could choose what the characters say, you know? I know these are like, at the store, like $7 action figures, but I wish they could say more. No, not, not the same one. I mean, I wish you could choose what they say when you want them to say it. Because if you want to hear them say something again, you just got to keep tapping the thing. Just keep tapping the thing. Hopefully they say it again. Yep. You know? This thing's not perfect. You know? I paid, I paid 25 bucks for this thing. You know? Yeah. Whatever. Look, I love Hasbro Star Wars toys, but you know, they could be better, especially with the Sports Link stuff. Well, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.